Hello friends! In this video I will show you how to make infinite money early in Dragon's Dogma 2. You will be able to buy whatever you want and fast travel wherever you like to go. You can do all this very early in the game, but you need some money to get started. It would be great if you had around 10,000 gold for the initial investment. You will make 70,000 gold out of your 10k when the setup is made. It is important to stick to this guide to make the money printing working. I am very happy to make this video for you because it's a follow-up video with similar mechanics to a video I have made for Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. If you want to see this video, I will leave a link in the description below. Because this mechanic is present since many years in the series, I would consider this as a built-in feature by the developers. If you guys get a chance, give it a thumbs up, check out the channel and subscribe. Hit notify and you can see not only the past, but the future games that I'll be covering. First you will need to get two port crystals. I will show you how to obtain those. The first one will be accessible if you follow the main quest line in Vernworth. You will be given it from Brand. The second one can be found at the forested griffin's nest below the misty marshes. I will show you now how to get there. The easiest way is to take the ox cart to the border checkpoint west of Vernworth. From here we will walk to the griffin's nest. The way to the east takes about one day and there will be plenty of encounters on our way. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Follow the path to the point where you find a statue and have a great overview of the landscape. Now the nest is just around the corner, to the north. Just climb up the boulders and you are there. can see the desired port crystal in the middle of the griffin's nest. Let us watch our foe carefully to determine our best strategy here. over back to the rest town and find our way to Bakbatal. At this point you can empty your pockets and sleep if you want, to heal up for the voyage. The way to Bakbatal is long and dangerous, so make sure you have everything you need for at least one day. We will orient ourselves along the river that flows under the border checkpoint and travel to the west. Follow the river to the south until you find the desert of Bakbatal. Putting that aside, 
I do believe our party would stand to benefit from the addition of a sorcerer. Their command of magic... Unless I am much mistaken, we have calls to visit a place not far from here. Perhaps we ought to go there first. What say you, Arisen? This is the western part of the city. Now things will get interesting. This looks as if it will take us someplace further afield. Use a pot crystal and place it on the ground. How we use it is at our discretion. I believe we would be remiss not to make use of this. After doing so, use a fairy stone to travel back to Vernworth. We seem to have arrived without issue, but are we safe here? In the capital, head to the north and use the ox cart to travel to Melth. This ox cart's bound for Melth. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Now the money making part will start. In Melf head over to the trader Rune and buy apples and grapes. If you have played the first part of the game, you might remember the carrots, which were turned into molden carrots to make them more worth. My, I interest you in my heart. Go over to the trader Mia and buy more apples and grapes. Always much obliged, sir. Put the fruits into your storage box at Tristan's Inn. As long as the items are in the box, they are preserved and will not get old. Sit down on the bench and wait for four turns until you repeat the process. Now this is a well met, sir. This is a basic loop. Note that the item stack size is 100. So I optimize the process by giving my pawn the fruits for one or two cycles until they are ripe. This way I can store two different stacks of apples and grapes in the storage. Efficiency is not the only factor worthy of consideration. Consider it my thanks for all you've done. You will be granted with a hawker stone at some point. Well met. Looking to make a purchase? This grants your pawn the hawker specialization, allowing them to offer to purchase some items from the inventory for a fair sum of gold. Obliged, you can see that I have placed the second pot crystal on the ground here. This is very important to make your money grinding life easy. Always a pleasure. Here at the inn, we also get so few customers, you see, that I can manage... Now the storage is full and I have to fill up the last items one by one. It is time to make the deal. Both rolls myself. But enough about me. Do come again. A 
again use the ferry stone and travel back to the city of Bhaktabal, where we have placed our first port crystal. We've made it then. What's our first order of business, Arisen? storage should be full of ripe fruits to sell to the local store. Let's grab them all and head over to the other side of the street. What do you think you're doing here? Welcome. Here is where the magic happens. You will get seven times the money you have invested in the first place out of this deal. Your gold shortage should be over now. And you could like the video and subscribe to the channel to help others to find this video too. Come again. No purchases to be made today, I see. I just hope the shopkeep understands. Gold is a resource best spent due Now, thank you for watching this guide. And if you want, you can hire my beautiful pawn Carrie. She knows lots of locations on the map and will help you on your quests. Her gear is upgraded and she has the specialization you need. You can find her code in the description below. Just copy and paste it into the game. If you want to have access to my videos and game guides early, you might consider a membership of my channel. You can find the link below. Thanks a lot to all my supporters and have a great day.